Hello everyone, my name is Soulmonger, and today I'm bringing you some more Rayman Origins action. And last time you guys saw Ethan and I play Shooting Me Softly, so we are on to the next zone that was the end of that zone right there. And I have my notifications on, I will turn these off for you guys. Gorman Land, I don't like having notifications on, I, don't, I think they're kind of annoying when they, when you play here. Oh, somebody wish me Happy Thanksgiving. Hold on one second. Let us wish him Happy Thanksgiving back. Eon Kid. We're going to reply to him. Ethan, help me out in the reply. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving! Alright. And in this video, I felt like I haven't given you guys proper background on some of the things in this game. So Ethan is going to go ahead and read about those off the bat while I play. And we are in Gorman land, so I'm going to play the first level on this. I've already played this. I apologize. I played it and my computer crashed like I said in the last video. So here we go and I'm going to hand the mic over to Ethan. And then you can just start and Ethan, you start, tell the person, that, tell them what you're going to be talking about and then read, read about them. I will be talking about the main characters, the Bubble Dreamer, Electoons, Looms, Swinsman, and the Magician on his magic hat. And then I'll be reading about the enemies and bosses and a bunch of the challenges. Here we start out on the Bubble Dreamer. Bubble Dreamer is the supreme being who dreams the world and all of its marvelous creatures into existence with his every sleep. He is a sensitive being, an artist, and an unbashed hedonist who is emotionally attached to his creations. His feelings have a direct effect on the world, and even one bad dream can, settle, can unsettle its fragile balance. The magic people believe, the bu believe Bubble Dreamer keeps to his sacred resting ground, but we know better. This fun-loving super being can't, re can't resist living among his creations to laugh, play, and overindulge. And his creations are much like him. Crazy. Alright, and he is, who is he, Ethan? That we're talking about so that we have a visualization. The giant man in the, that was in the cage in the beginning. All right, and he's the one that you can hang on his beard, and he yep. like pokes it, pulls his eye out and stuff. And he'll tell you the answers, and he'll rip his head off. Right? He'll rip his head off every once in a while. Okay, now on to the electrons. These ears, ear, irrepressibly happy electrons are the stuff on the make of the maker's dreams, and are con contained in all of the bubble dreamer's creations. As the bad dreams worsen. More and more electrons become imprisoned by bombastic hunters who pepper the Bacalio glade with their balangarantly live ammunition and their terrifyingly ridiculous lackeys, the livid stones. As a result, the very fabric of the glade of dreams begins to unravel and the connection of the electrons once formed between the land starts to dissolve. Lums. Looms, pronounced looms like illumination, not and not lums for dumb, <laughs> are beings of pure energy possessed of a mind-boggling sunny disposition. They are an important source of magical energy in the glade of dreams, making lums, looms racing a popular glade-wide sport. This competition pits up to four players against each other in this crazy cross-country competitions to collect looms. Anything goes in the squad race. Or as we say around here, no smack is too packed. While all players go home winners, only one takes the prize. The player who nabs the most nap happy looms, of course. No holds barred. Swing man, never refuse a helping hand. These congenial creatures grow as many arms as there are friends who need to lift up. It, they ninch in auspicious places, poised over prosperous pieces, with a gentle smile that flashes from their blue faces, hiding their true nature as the Glade's most popular swinging singles. And which one are those guys, the swingmen? Those are the blue hands that throw you? Right? Yep. Okay. Okay, the magician on his magic hat. The magician will help you through all your quests. He is always willing to trade you electrons for looms which will help you unlock new worlds and maps at your service. His magic hat will provide new trips and tricks to glow to help you survive. The nasties, bad bubbles and beyond. One day the bubble dreamer began having nightmares. The nymphs tried offerings of sweet dreams, tea, and tasty cakes to call him, but the things in the glade just kept getting worse. 
Soon all the lands of the Glade were crawling with nightmarish creatures, devilish dark twins, hideous hunters, and most some livid stones. Just to name a few of the terrible troublemakers, the Dark Tunes. If the Left Tunes make up all of the Bubble Dreamer's good dreams, the Dark Tunes are the stuff of nightmares. During the first bad dream, Bubble Dreamer became a foul and ferocious creature like none of us had ever seen before. Jano. Now Jano makes dark tunes like cow's makes milk. And before we knew what hit us, there were there were hundreds of them in all shapes and sizes, and all causing quite a lot of trouble. The psychopaths. This prickly freak does not like to be disturbed. My advice: let the sleeping psychopath fly. Prepare to be bubbleized on his spooky spikes. Other enemies. Legend has it that Raymond first came to the Glade of Dreams to defeat the nightmare creatures and banish them to their lower realms. Now known as the land of the livid dead. Now these crazy casts of nasties is back and it needs to be smacked back to oblivion. The bosses. The kings of each land in the Glade have gone missing and the, and the magic people fear that they have fallen under the influence of the nightmare forces that menace their universe. Raymond and his friends will need to find out what happened to them. We're thinking, it's not gonna be pretty. And it is not pretty. It is not gonna be pretty. Now who are you talking about next here? First I'll read the intro of the game quickly before I start this, the top of sentence. All right, one second here in between, and then what are you gonna, you're gonna start the intro, and then what are you gonna do? You're gonna read about the items? I'm gonna read about the Electoons, Electoon Mali Medallions. Hold on one second though. At the next level, just to let you guys know, we're gonna be playing Dashing Through the Snow. So, <laughs> Ethan, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Dashing through the snow on a broken pair of skis, crashing through the trees, ow, 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 ow. The snow is turning red, I think I lost my head. Rush me to the hospital and don't forget my head. <laughs> All right, good job, Ethan, nice. All right, so we're gonna be playing this level while you read about, what are you gonna to touch on? I'm gonna read about the Electoons, Electoon medallions, Electoon challenges, time attack challenges, lung challenges, chest challenges, and the skull teeth. All right, here we go. So go, ha go ahead, Ethan. You may begin. Save the Electoons and save the Glade of Dreams. As the world is taken over by the creatures of Bubble Dreamers' nightmares, more and more Electoons become their victims. The poor hapless critters are being snapped up and left right and right and locked away. In chained cages hidden up throughout the glade. Meanwhile, the very fabric of the dream is menaced as rifts, rifts open up between the various lands. The Electoons. To save the glade, you need to stop the nightmares. And to stop the nightmares, you've got to free the Electoons, for they are the key to repairing the rifts between the lands and helping to soothe the bubble dreamer back into dreaming happy dreams. To progress in the dream, you will need to collect lots of Electoons. They will not only help you to rebuild the paths between the lands, but they will also progressively unlock many neat, neat secret sanctuaries and surprises. You can earn Electoons by completing a variety of challenges available in each land. Electoon Medallions. The medallions track your progress in collecting Electoons. You will need to complete a variety of challenges to fill a medallion. Electoon challenges, cage challenges. Realms of elect, dreams of Electoons are trapped in cages throughout the Glade of Dreams. Some cages are hidden and may only be found by thoroughly exploring each level. Beware, the cages are always heavily guarded. Bubbleize the evil guardians of each cage before you break the cage open and free the Electoons. Time attack challenges. Hey, wait, wait, Ethan, I got a question. Did you read about the nymphs yet? Yes. Okay. Time attack challenges. Sometimes slow and steady just doesn't cut it. Upon completing any map, you unlock a time attack challenge. If you beat the easy time time challenge, you will free an electron. If you beat the hard time challenge, you will also earn a speed trophy. Shiny. Ooh, I like shiny. Raymond shiny loves shiny. Shiny is good. Lum challenges. I mean loom challenges. <laughs> <laughs> no, not idiot challenges. Oh wait. We're a little quick note where I'm here. I believe there is a secret up there. So I'm going back for this bubble. And there is. All right, I can't get back to the bubble, so next time we'll get the secret. All right. Or just die, just die. No, I got a heart. All right, continue on, Ethan. Okay, loom challenges. Collect as many looms as you can in each level to beat the loom challenges. There are a variety of ways to collect looms, so keep their, your eyes peeled. Where there are bubbles, there are looms. The bubbles are very hard to see. 
look in the plants for bubbles coming from the root. There are some collectibles like the skull coins, the, lo the loom canes, and the bubble looms are a very variable jackpot. Skull coins give you 25 looms, and the bubble looms are those sacks and pretty giant and those pretty giant flowers. Always punch them until they're flattened. Chest challenges. The chest challenges will put your skills to the test. These fast-paced tree sequences will have you scrambling to keep up with the runaway, run runaway chest while you sprint, jump, and fly as you're trying to stay away alive. Skull teeth. A precious skull tooth is awarded for each chest challenge you complete. Collect them to gain access to your worst nightmare yet in the land of the living dead. You might be wondering where to use these skull teeth. You put them in the man's mouth in the in the snoring tree. When you get all 10 of them in, he takes one on a, on a tour to the land of the living dead where you meet your worst nightmare. Raymond's worst nightmare. See you later. Are you done reading now? Yep. Oh man, I did that. All right, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about any of the other stuff. And, and um, now Ethan will join in and we will continue playing this game. And there he is. I just finished reading something long and boring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Very long. I had to. <laughs> I just had to. Yeah. Uh, I understand that. So I couldn't help it. He has a nice sweater vest on here and he looks like Mr. Rogers from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. No, I don't. I don't have a sweater vest on. <laughs> look at me. Do I look like I have a sweater vest? <laughs> you look like a sweater vest. <laughs> I do? <laughs> Stop insulting me, boy! Stop insulting me, boy! This is the 60s! <laughs> Sweater vests are supposed to look good on people! You never obviously seen Mr. Roger, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood when you were young, did you? No! Wait, I can do this. What, are you gonna get it? Die bubbles! Alright, easy on the volume. I don't know if you're gonna pop the microphone there, son. Hey, this is the 60s. What are microphones? <laughs> All right, sorry on the uh, the Stop doohickey here. Stop killing me! That's illegal. All right, what are these guys, Ethan? You didn't read about these guys. They are not in the book. All right, we're gonna get look at their look at how here. small their eyes are. Compared. I'll go wait for me. I'll get something. All right, Come go, back here. All right, grab it. It's called a spell coin. Is it where? Oh yeah, underneath there. Ah. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna stay on this guy's plate because Raymond's what's for dinner, not beef. Not actual beef. It's only caged artificial flavoring beef. Do you know how Ooh. they make, how do they make an artificial cow? Are you gonna get that or just continue to spike on the oranges? Um, I know how I'm gonna get it. All right, go. You can't go that way, cause you're big then. You gotta go the other way. You want me to try getting it? Not for long, not once I go Are through Are you gonna get funnel. up here? Spike yourself and then fly back up here with the bubble. I'll pop you. All right. No looms are for dinner. Looms would be tasty. And what do you call that? What do you think that guy has on the end? Ethan, you can just jump in the water. I don't think there's any piranhas. Oh yeah, there are, but just jump quick out of it. There. All right, that was easy. Well, Ethan, what do you, that one guy that, all right, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll see. The guy, the wizard, what's the wizard's name again? All right, let's get these. Uh-oh. Let's oh. just... Uh-oh. I'm gonna get the rest of these. Free these guys. Free the looms! Okay, time to go. It's like in the mix of looms and lums. Looms. Ooh, there's special here. Yay! Secret. All right. <laughs> I hope I ground pound them to death so they have no chances of ever living again. Is there a ground You, you have to ground pound them. To ground pound these guys? Yep. How do you... It's like, you have to have one person standing back. This is an only two player cage. If you don't have two players, do not try this. This can't be an only, they can't set the caves up like that. All right. Here, I'll go. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. You little, this is the 60s. You don't know how to be mini. All right, here we go. I don't know what your obsession is with the 60s. <laughs> Neither do I. I don't know why I can't stop making All right, 60s. I'm going to stay right up here because I'm ready to pop this. So you go you go uh, ground pound those guys. 
All right, come back up here. This is like a cheap way of doing this. Come back down here. I'll get you ground pounded again. Uh-oh. There's probably oh, some no, other way, no. but it's super hard. Oh my gosh. All right, let me try it. Let me try popping these no, guys. Wait, I'm gonna get over to the other side by jumping off, by bouncing over them. Why, what's on the other side? You can bounce over to them and then there's like something that makes you big on the other side. Oh, that's why we can't hit them. It's because... Right. I know here, where to get hold it. Hold on one we, second. One, one well, hold on one second. Time. I want to turn my. There's people coming on left and right here. I forgot to turn my notifications off. And I want to get the, these off here for you guys. All right. There's a little quick tutorial. That's how you turn your notifications off. <laughs> here, let me let me pop you, and then you gonna go do that? I'll wait here. I'll just. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. Now you can get them easy. Nice. Good work. Good stinking brah. All right, pop that up there. Cause you're big. You can pop that. Ground pound. Nice. I wonder if I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be smash small. Them oh, we missed one. Oh, I actually, I knew where we missed one. I pointed it out. Let's go get it. Nah, uh, it's too far away, and it's, it was a rather difficult one, I believe. You should have called for more help. All right, that what is that swing man? It's giving us a hand. Right, we gotta get kill these guys. Oh my gosh, I got flamed, broiled. Maybe I am for dinner. Here, punch me. I don't even know how to kill these guys. You can't, they're invincible. How do you get them? You, their platters are to help you. Sometimes if you kill them, you're screwed. Or not. How do you, you can kill them, you just have to dash into them. Oh, okay. Are you alive? Nice. Yeah, I'm killing them. All right, all right, nice. Oh, I got the finishing touch. I must destroy the piranha cage because piranhas are like wally wogs. All right, you said something last time about the wizard, and I thought it was kind of funny. And uh, he's gonna be coming in here any second. What do you think that he has? I don't know what you're talking about. You said he has an unhealthy obsession with the. Loom. You have a very unhealthy obsession bathing in those things. They're poisonous. Stop killing yourself. I don't know. If he's he thinks he, I think he knows what he's doing. Look at how excited he is. Yeah, when he starts bathing, he. Alright, until the end, to the end. Go, 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 go. To the end. Will we make it? Oh. Uh, no. Alright, next time on Raymond Origins. Oh, let's we check out the new character. We will get a new character. Oh, let's check him out. Next time on the Snoring Tree. Next time we got a fork in the road again, and we got a run. We got sink or swim, so it's a swim one. And then we got. Piping hot, so that should be interesting. Let's just do the treasure chest now. No, we're gonna go. Uh, we're, we're running out of time here, so we're gonna go show you the character. And then next time, next episode, you'll see this. Hold on, what character is this? Is this? I'm a king. I'm the king. But no, wait. Who's this, Ethan? So, so everybody knows. He is the bubble dreamer. Yes. And right. here's something funny. Don't believe yet. Got. Gosh, Teensy, what? If you are here, then who's watching the dead door? And no wonder there's so many enemies. And why do you think that he says that to that Teensy? Because he's supposed to be guarding the door to the dead. No wonder there's so many enemies. And now you're the king. Let's go see what he says to the king. Your royal highness, would you like to eat a bubble? And every time <laughs> every time you do this with a different guy, he'll say different things. Oh, oh. Grand Minas, Keeper King of Teensy Kender. How's tickling? Sorry, that's all I can remember. I'm both, though. All right. So remember to leave a comment, leave a rating, and subscribe for more Raymond. Have a good day, guys. Wait, can I show them the special All right, we're not leaving yet. What do you want to show them? Let's do the treasure chest. Oh, uh, we don't have time for the treasure chest. Actually, okay. Fine, we have time for the treasure chest. Sink or swim. By the command of the king. All right, we have time. We'll, we'll, we'll put this one in here, too. By the command of the king. We gotta if make you it complain, quick, though. You're executed. <laughs> All right, we have very little time. So I we, guess it's this, the Titanic. We are sinking like the Titanic. Never let me go, Jack. And Ethan, you wouldn't get that reference because you've never seen the Titanic movie. I've read the Titanic book. <sighs> really? You read books? What a loser. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just kidding. Read you're books, a geek. kid. You know, how, you know how to hook up a TV. <laughs> okay. You're a geek. I'm a loser. You're a geek. No, read books, oh, kids. The gloozers. They're good for you. Oh my gosh. We're gloozers. Gloozers? Alright, let's, um, you're the king, huh? I didn't even notice that. We gotta, 
You gotta slide in your belly there for good luck. Uh oh, that's gonna hurt us. Go, 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 quick! Where are you Sorry, going? Dad. You fall off the screen, you're dead. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Alright, we only got. We honestly need to do this real quick because we only got a couple attempts here. We're running out of time. Nice slide. Red slide. Oh, there we go. Sliding kills the king because the king has heart attack. The king should just tell somebody, his one of his servants, at the local farm to slide for him. Oh, or I could just stand on top of Raymond, immobilizing him. Okay, you have to jump over that spot. You have to just stop there. No, you have to jump over that spot. Otherwise, you... Because you have to keep up with them. Slide. Yay, intros! Yay, intros! All right, come on. We got to do this because I want to be able to put the teeth in for everyone. The third teeth. The third tooth! Improper uh, grammar! All right. Don't die so quick, Ethan. You're dying too quick on me. Because the king doesn't know how to fight. He doesn't know how to run, you mean? This is a running level. Ethan, you're dying so fast on me. Stop dying so quick. I'm super slow. The king doesn't have enough agility because he's too lazy to get outside and exercise. He's always sitting inside eating giant ham legs. Giant Again. ham legs are awesome, though. So I don't blame him. Do you? I kind of do because it's getting him fat. And my grandma would have something to say about that. No, that was so close. That was so close. Are we honestly? This is it, Ethan. This is our last try. Let's do this. All right, that's not our last try. It was short. Okay, this time is really our last try. Come on, come on, Ethan. Why are you go? Why are you hanging out back there? Here. I need to go change characters. All right, we will. So we'll be right back. No, we're not gonna be right back. We're just. Hopefully, I'm just gonna do this this time. No, you have to be him. You have to be the king. We can't waste loading time. Let's go. You can do it. Nice. All right, fly ahead of me. I'm trying to, but his arms can't carry him very far. What happened there? Oh, I gotta bounce off the lime. The lima bean. Alright, you never want to flap your wings in these, as far as I know, or glide. Unless they force you to, pretty much. I don't think you even want to. Alright, I died this time. Stay with them. I'm dead. Yep. I got close. And that's gotta hurt those little fishies to be crushed in that ice. But why should I feel bad for them? They killed us. Alright, I think I know what I'm doing here. This time. Yeah, you're No, kicking. I missed the that's why you never uh you never hold A on this one. You never hold A. And I just wanna do it because I'm so used to holding it. Cause you have to hit the lemon. Limes. The limes, yes. You can't tell the difference between yellow and green. Are you color blonde? Color blonde? Yes, I'm color blonde. Alright, now, what do we have to do here last time? How did I die? Can't remember. You just couldn't move. You just got, like, stuck and tailed by Spike. You got impaled by Spikey Prime. That's what you got impaled by. Yes, we got him. Let me kick him. We got him. We didn't even touch him. Oh, look at the king loves it. It's, he loves treasures. We have an unhealthy obsession. <laughs> For treasure. <laughs> treasure teeth. Three unhealthy obsessions well, in Well, this is going to be perfect. We're going to get this in. We're going to show you guys the teeth. We're going to go back to the snoring tree here quick. Boom, as soon as it counts it. And then we're going to show you. We're going to slap the teeth in here, and then we're going to end the video. After punching him in the face, giving him another band-aid. Boom. <laughs> All right. Let's slap him in the face first. Go. Boom! I slapped you ah! into him, slapping him here, in the face. Here, let me slap you into his face. All right. Slap. Oh. oh! And on that, we're ending. So have a good day, guys.